fine, Eugene. If you're not going to work out, then why don't you try Dirt Bot Toaster? <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Bubbles. And today, we're going to be talking about how Kippy's simulator game... It is no game! ...is actually the core driver behind most scientific exploration. <laughs> Kippy's simulator game is based on the universal human want to be all-powerful, to play God! The original God Game developer, renowned Uber nerd Peter Molyneux, said God Games allow players to be who they want to be. That just means that you can test out fun stuff you can't do in your real life, like redecorating your kitchen, trying out a new profession... Or killing everyone by toaster! <laughs> but there's another group of people who are often accused of playing God. Who might that be? Me. That's right, scientists. But I know what you're thinking, Kippy. What does playing a god game have to do with science? Genetically modified food, 3D printed tissue and bones for medical use, robot nurses. At every invention, critics say scientists were arrogant, that they took it too far by playing god in real life. To which I say, if this is what too far looks like, you're welcome. <laughs> Pretty much any scientific advancement started when a scientist played God. The light bulb, airplane, microscope, spaceship, automobile. I mean any surgery. I struggle to see the downside. Your downside is computers. What's the downside of computers? I didn't say the downside. I said your downside. A singularity cannot. If this is about your people taking over again, I... I talked to the guys and we're... Oh, we're coming for you. Oh, you're adorable. Now, this adorable face is the last thing you're going to see, son. <laughs> In conclusion, obviously mutating goldfish into this kind of snatched hotness is a good thing, but is there a too far? Let us know in the comments below, Dennis. Why did nobody tell me it's just our made of acid? Ah, my sweet prince! Okay, maybe it's time to take a break and play some Sims. Join us next time as we further explore sexy science. Sexy science with Dr. Bubbles. The sexiest goldfish you've ever